very inspirational music there. Uh, we're going to be looking at Kerbal Space Program, the demo, because I don't have the money to print the alpha version. Yeah, I don't like it when games are doing this, but hey ho, I might just turn down the volume a teeny bit. There we go. Alright, let's start, see what we're doing. Um, start new because I don't have one. Ah, oh, well that's dickish. Okay. Um Oh Okay. Uh <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Very symmetrical and see if it works. Uh, I should probably be reading this stuff, but I don't actually care. Um, I have no idea what all of this is. Uh, Launch! <laughs> it's probably just gonna fall apart. <laughs> oh, wait, right, it's meant to be a lot bigger. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> go. Go, go! Where's go? Is that it? Nope. Um. Launch? Brakes, abort. T where's take off? Just uh, um, go. Uh, okay, I have no idea. Uh, abort, abort. We must abort. <laughs> face of the little bomb, bomb bit. Resources. Nothing. Um, abort. Ab ab abort. Just, uh, um. <laughs> Literally have no idea what I'm doing. Um, end flight. Yes. Vehicle assembly building. <laughs> right, okay. So we're going to... Uh, Right. right. We need to go up. Okay. Drag. Come on. Come. Thank you. Oh, I just have to click it. Let's just 
have lots of fuel tanks. shows how good a scientist I am. I have no idea how to build a spaceship. At all. Um, wings. That'll do. Um, don't need a parachute. You probably won't make it up there. Science! Mm. <laughs> That's great. It's just, just science. Um. Um. Literally have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just basically throwing bits around. I should probably read these things after many years. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Crew members <laughs> just can't be trusted to keep a spacecraft under control. The the CS module addresses the issue by correcting co um, continuously. It is highly recommended that crew members keep aware of the presence of such advice, as experience shows that many Kerbals will see that as a challenge, as a challenge to their flying prowess. to produce these small... I love the music! To help with altitude control and linear motion, even though many still dispute the validity of this. You know, the studies show that the process seem to work as well as first. Uh, mostly non <laughs> mostly non-explosive. Brilliant. so that they can get in and out. Okay, there's no need for that. Landing struts. Nope. Not going to do that. Just need to get it into space. literally no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just sticking bits together, making it symmetrical and hoping that it won't fall apart. I'm guessing that these will just fall off, but whatever. Um, trash bin for 
for the boom. Uh, let's see, use my expression. Okay. Oh, that's actually a, ro a rocket. Okay. Cool. No idea if this will work, but it looks pretty. I should probably have read this read up about this game before I started doing a video on it. But hey ho. Right, and then we'll Oop. Right, at least that all stayed together. Down we go. Down to the ground. Hopefully this will keep it together. Dot. Oh. Well, tease it. Oh well. <laughs> that doesn't look as pretty anymore, but. Right, let's see if I can launch it. Right, where is the launch button? Uh, oh, <laughs> did I make him jump out? Um, dude, what? No, for God's sake! Bot, <laughs> bot. Um... Um, where is the launch button? Oh, okay. That is not helpful. Um, 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 can I get out of this view? Oh. oh. It's just having time racing. Pie. Let's get it back today. Oh. Come on. Or has he made it in space? Oh, I haven't noticed. No, there's, there's blue occasionally. There we go. Ah. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, uh, right, now that I've had a little tutorial on what to do from a friend um, who had the, has the actual game, 
I'm going to actually try and build something that will work. I've spent about, had like 15 minutes bef before where I did nothing. That's this part, part of this video as you've just seen. But um, now I've had like an hour of him telling me how to do it and teaching me what the hell I'm meant to be doing. So let's see if I can remember what I'm meant to be doing. Um, I want one of those. Oh no, actually, not that. I want these. Because these are very important. I have lots of those. <laughs> Probably too many, but you know, whatever. Ooh. Right, and then we have that. I'm going to make it quite big. I love the music. corner there. Just see it there. It's the return of the USS Bartz. Um, right, oh, no, don't want that yet. Want one of those. Then a decoupler there. Takes a nice little shelter thing. And that. I have no idea how I actually, like, uh, like just oh, I don't press the wrong buttons. I like go up, page up. Ah, oh. Um. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I, I never knew that could. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, uh, sorry, you, you probably can't even see that. It's just, oh no, wait, you think you can? <laughs> well, now you can see what I'm um, using to film these. <laughs> right, so we got that. Then you use these here. Oh, need symmetry. Right, so I press X and then get the little symmetry thing down here. This, this always causes a problem because it some, doesn't like attaching at certain angles. But God damn it! It's like a tiny movement of the hand, and it fucks up. Come on, attach! Damn you! all the concentration going in here. God damn it, attach you bugger. Okay, this is incredibly difficult. I'm not gonna lie. So I can attach it there, but I need the um, things. That basically, these create stages so that you can get rid of extra weight that you don't want. Basically. Um. Oh, hello. No, damn it! I had it. I just wanted it to be a bit lower. Come on! Oh, there we go. Got it. Yeah. Um, go up. Um, I don't want to press page up and page down again. Um, let's bring this guy down a bit. A bit more. There we go. Right. And these ones, I'm just gonna. Build them up to the bottom and stick rockets on each. Like that. Voila. So then, the idea is that um, 
these will burn fuel uh, for the majority, and then I'll this one will run out very quickly, so I'll detach that, and then it will be feeding in through these little things, which are external fuel ducts, and they basically go in like that. So as soon as these detach, um, the excess fuel will go into this one, so then I'll have a bit more to continue pushing up with. Right, now what I need is more of these. So it snaps it to the middle there, and then we put solid fuel. These are the things that they'll burn, they'll go, and then you just drop them straight away. They're good for getting you up in the air, but they're quite heavy and wasteful. So you just chuck them on, and they'll just go. Right, now we need to control these thruster blocks to be able to turn the rocket. Ah, oh, crap, I've missed something. Putting in one of those. Because that is very helpful. There isn't another one, is there? No. Right. So I need that. See that. Looks <laughs> very weird shit. I am going to have to space duct tape it, as, <laughs> as everyone put it. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a minute once I put more of these on. Um, basically, these things I'm just putting on enable like maneuver that around sort of thing. What I might do actually is um no that that should be fine. Um might be a bit wasteful but I don't care at the moment. And then we space duct tape which is just connect things so that it doesn't shake itself apart. And that's as as with the symmetry, it just sort of holds it all together. Oh, come on. There we go. And just attach these, just so they don't fling off. Right. Yeah, I learned a lot in the hour or so that they were teaching me what to do. It's like do this, and then you do that, and then you do this, and then this works. Right. So that should be hopefully a functioning space. Oh, actually. Casey, right, I need these, obviously, aerodynamics, otherwise it's just going to be, like, have too much force pushing, you know, holding it down, air resistance, and we need, there we go, right, so, right, now this bit here, these are like the stages, so I need, right, I need all four of these, all and all of these to fire at the same time. Is that the middle one? Yeah, that one. You need to come down here as well. So they all fire, and then I need these to detach before any of the others. No, actually, I need that one to detach first because what I learned was this runs out very fast. <laughs> As I said, I learned a lot. They they taught me a lot of things. So I'll put that there. So you see, detach that and then look, fire that one as well. It can make a spectacular explosion. I'm guessing that's those. So those will come... Oh no! Ooh, those come off first. <laughs> a lot of rearranging. Those come off first, because these run out very fast. Then that. Then these. These will last quite a lot while. And then this one comes off... Um, separately, hang on. Oh, that needs to be in its own little bubble. Uh, plus, there we go. Put that there. Because that's attached there, so it should be able to float around in the, an orbit. And then that. So basically, we're aiming to get an orbit with this. Right, so let's give it a go. Right. Now, what I didn't know was the way to actually launch. Um, so, when it loads. Um, actually, I think that might be done. Right, so you hold shift to chuck up the throttle, and then you press, <laughs> and it launches, and it's off. It is with the fuels. So the fuels go down very, very, very fast. Um, that's the middle one. That's the twenty one. Whereas these ones last quite a while. Eventually, right, now I press space. 
slowly getting bigger because it's still being propelled. I always make the mistake of not turning early enough. I might turn too early this time. I don't know. Come on, Jebediah. Jebediah Kerman, that's who's in this. They all had like a. Um, they, the, the people I was working there, looking at and learning from, they all had the proper games. So they could do like unmanned probes. They would lose people. <laughs> Now I've got a lot of control as to where it goes, but I'm just trying to get it like that. All right, kill engines. Oh, yes, we did it. We have an orbit. Right, it's not a perfect orbit. It's sort of quite, <laughs> quite um, extended, but it's an orbit nonetheless. The next mission idea that they were doing was trying to get there, but I think this is enough for me. I'm quite happy to have succeeding on this. It was it was quite a few times. Um, like my first attempt, I managed to have him sent off like this, and he created an orbit around the sun about there. So I, I, this time, I've actually managed to make an orbit around Kerbin. So I've done quite well. I wonder if I can get him to come into land. At all. I think I need rocket propulsion thing to do that. Okay, I think I've lost. Uh, he's he's going to be lost in space. That's fine. You can you can wiggle, and that's about it. He's got enough fuel to just wiggle. Sorry, Jebediah, you're going to be lost in space forever. Whee! You'd have thought that they'd be able to like use the propulsion to push himself back down, but you know. Let's have him looking out into the vastness of space if we can. Oh no, it doesn't want to. Don't want to! Alright, so he's just gonna die in space, basically. I could deploy the parachute, but. Um, it's because it's travelling at the same speed, it doesn't open. Okay. I could get him to just jump out. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, get back in. You've done your spacewalk. I've done a spacewalk. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. I've, I've done <laughs> what I couldn't do yesterday. I couldn't even take off, but um, with a little bit of help from my friend who knew what he was doing I've managed to actually get a Ker um, Kerbin, Kerman into space he is, he is in space he has a circular orbit around Ker Kerbin their planet I'm, I'm happy with that I'm so tempted to buy the proper game and try and do more things um, then maybe more videos of what the fuck have I done with some spaceships but you never know anyway Cheers for watching, um, <laughs> great fun, and I hope to see you soon.